Hello everyone, this is Comrade Sirius and welcome to the part about theory of circles, about how cities can be designed to work in this game properly. And I have a few examples from the Canada series, that's why it's part of the mini series. And let's dive a little deeper into it. How pe people work, how citizens work and how I tend to do it. And I will stop the game so it's not, you know. Oh, well, you know, let it run. The basic part is when you have a city, you mark, when you have a city part or area part, you mark its middle. It's usually good to do it with a big station. It can be like this or it can be a train station. It's up to you. I'm not exactly sure that this train station, it's a modded one from Rob's, it has no road access. As you can see, there is no, no road attached to it. You do not need it to build it, but it would be nice to have for reasons I can provide later on, because even in these stations you can have a station, you can have a thing like a station pump. That will be described later on. But generally a big station and all you need is to mark around 400 meter circle from the station that will have access, direct access to it. That's the only thing you need. And this is, here you can see that basically all building where people live, ex excluding this one, it, but that's, you know, university halls, that's why they are it's why they are off, probably, with, you know, the government loyalty. All buildings in the perimeter have access to it. And that's the key part. That's the most important part of it all. Next to the station, it's a good thing to place daily needs. Daily needs are shops, like commercial building. You can see it's pretty full and it's pretty used. Culture, for example, cinema. You can have some attractions, but that's not needed. These are here solely for the hotel that has been placed much, much later. It's good to have hospital near, so people can visit doctors. And, you know, have a pub of your own. Doesn't hurt either. These things should definitely be in, sh in short range enough that people from hospital can go to pub or at least to the culture and vice versa. So do not spread these utilities to furthest corner of the circle. But on the other hand, you can definitely stick some parts of buildings out like the technical university. You can see it's, you know, now, you know, 219 meters and it can, de it could definitely be moved a bit towards the left side and still will be in range. That's the, that's the neat part of it. The reason why this works is that you have enough capacity for people waiting and another part. <coughs> if they will not be able, if citizens will not be able to reach it directly to the need they need, they want, for example, food, culture, hospital and so on they will be able to go to the stop and without taking any bus because you do not run buses in that direction they will simply wait an hour and they will go to the stop they will go to the building they need the nice part and it's an important one is that you need to be able to fit all those people in it and you do not want them to wait there twice because if you look at some of the so passengers their total time tra traveling you know and waiting on the platform runs much slower than their free time yes this one is when for praying that will not be satisfied but he will time out from another waiting on the station before it leads elsewhere and he's the one that's living in these prefabs, so I probably went for food and meat right away this day. Oh, 
Well, that's about it. Keep this in mind. You do not want them waiting twice the time. Behind the first circle, the inner circle, the core, we can say, that's another circle, and it's about 500 meters wide, and it fits all those things that doesn't need to be accessed by everyone. For example, second university, prison, secret police, courthouse. Yeah, all these things do not need to be accessed by everyone. They need to be accessed by some people. And the same goes, by the way, for things like water treatment, sewage treatment. Yeah, they are in walking range. And all of this jazz. You do need kindergartens to be access accessible and schools. That's what we have here. This is the first one, by the way. Here is the second one. Yeah, really, really good looking. This is a school street. You know, with the playground behind, and you know some training halls. This is school. This is school gyms. And I think it looks. It's looking good. It could have its, you know, some fencing around and so on. But at this time it, it was placed, there were no fences. So fences for paths. So well, it obviously didn't happen. You can add some playgrounds for kids and so on. Nice mods. That's. About it. That's how theory of circles work. That's how the core works. The outer outer ring or the middle ring, we can say, houses the unnecessary build the buildings that need to have some access, but not access to the main station or to everyone in the city. And houses things like you know road depots, repair stations, distribution offices, construction offices technical services and so on. there's tons and tons of buildings warehouses for example for you know food and components and so on you will fill it pretty pretty easily that's that's for sure so don't overdo it and only the outer circle the, after those 500 meters you start with industries like you know clothing factory chemical plant or you know utilities like big heating plant power, coal pow power plants steel mill and so on there it obviously depends on where your resources are and how your terrain is generally looking <coughs> but you need these things far away from the city the same goes by the way for you know waste sorting and so on that's what but that would probably came to your mind. Now, few things, few mistakes you can make. Make. First one is clogging your stations. This way, I do. This one is not great. Having a bus end station, and it's only six lines. By the way, here goes I don't know six or seven. Well, eight. But yeah, few of them has only two buses. So. so you can see it's a pretty dense area side note whenever you are building access to main stations always build them asphalt first because there's no way on the earth you are able to asphalt it later on in realistic mode i yes i have it now switched off i could have i could do it basically immediately but if, at least la those last bits the entrance, the last entrance and the first exit, you need to build asphalt right away. There is no way of doing it later on. Everything else can wait and is, you know, kind of doable. Not this thing. <coughs> the second part is the station. As you can see, it's pretty full because there are some large capacity buildings around. And, you know, the school is on one side and they are not able to walk there even despite, you know, having underpasses, under rails and so on. It's not great, not terrible. I wouldn't do it this way. I wouldn't do it this way anymore. At least I want to have, because this has been regularly full with, you know, school students and so on. 
there is no way of adding a station bump to it, if need be. That's the small car I've been talking. If you would need one, it would be. If you could place one, it would be great. It would smoothen this, this, these things up. And again, when you need to have some other source of where to where to you know send people without using a train, you still need to have a bus stop, some station, and so on. Which, which is why I would prefer to have a, as a main course building to have something other than the station or a combined one, which which we have now. It's quite new, but we have it. It's the large large train station, you know, from Košice, and you can see it has five tracks. It has a road road entrance, and if you see, it has station for vehicle unloading. It has three. Three stations for unloading vehicles, which means you can send bus there and you can manage it much better. And I do like it. The third part you can do, and uh, it's probably the biggest mistake, is when you are building around. When you are building around, you know, networks. You, when you do not have a single core, but you build cores like these. Tram stops. These ones are modded. They are from Robs, I think. Uh, yeah, they are from Robs. And the good part about them is that they have a larger capacity than the vanilla one. I will lobby for increasing capacities of vanilla tram stops because you can see the small one has 150 workers, the large one has 250. Robs ones have 400 and they do work better. The biggest downside is, you know, you can have, you won't have 400 people wa waiting on this stop. If the capacity would be 150, you won't have 150 people waiting. Because if they are to set out there, they will immediately reserve the spot. So the station will, will say you it's over capacity even despite it not being true at the very moment on the station but there will be enough people walking to the station that no further ones will be able to just you know reserve a place so for running trams that's not a good idea these ones are much better and i will lobby for peter to for uh, with peter to just you know increase the stuff otherwise it's pretty decent you can have a tram network with you know multiple stop multiple stops and so on currently it's not a problem for people because if you look underground there are some underground station this is a student stop because it's next to many next to medical university and yes there are running metros so we are okay it's working well right now and this is again you know some office building just to offset some workers but you know house of culture supermarket all these things that are here pop yeah. the standard set standard setup secret police is in the middle this time yeah that's basically how it's set up large school in the walking distance from not one but probably two stops yeah that's one and in walking distance from most houses anyway so that's it that's how you set up a city that's how you set up the circles theory because that's what can help you and you can see the re recurring team this is a big bus station added later on big shopping center next to it hospital school sports another sports kindergarten pop easy simple and I would even dare to say good looking with some decoration have a nice day that's enough for circle theory stay tuned for next parts for next tips see you later bye bye